should this be flush so same thing here you can feel these bumps there it is right here if you have an issue with this maybe this car is not for you does this change my perception of the car today i bring you the five things to keep in mind when test driving a tesla model y I am making this series of videos regarding our Model Y performance experience from an owner's perspective. And as always, in this video, I will try to talk about the things that may make or break your decision to get a Tesla, in this case, a Model Y. And for more related content, make sure that you consider subscribing. And those of you that are already, that already have this vehicle, please help me out in the comments and let me know if I omitted anything that may be helpful for other people that are considering buying this car. We have had our Model Y performance for a little bit over three months and about 3,300 miles. The three month milestone is an important one. And for example, JD Power's initial quality study focuses on problems experienced by owners during the first 90 days of ownership. My guess is that that sets the tone for the perception of quality that you're gonna have for the vehicle in the upcoming years that you own this. In our case, nothing to report. The Tesla Model Y hasn't had any issues whatsoever, but I'll touch on that a little bit later in the video. But reflecting on the whole experience, I realized that we might have made some mistakes when we test drove this car. The day of the test drive, we were starstruck by the Model Y performance. It was a very unique experience. We were overwhelmed with the simplicity of the car, the user interface, and all the features and how insanely fast it is. So because of this, we, we kind of overlooked some of the aspects of the Model Y, things that are very important um, because when you actually own the car, some of these issues have start to surface and you may realize that the car is not for you, but by then it may be already too late because you already invested a huge down payment and, or you already signed that huge uh, commitment for three years and it may be too late to back down or at least not without taking a huge loss. So here are my five tips to keep in mind when test driving a Tesla Model Y. Number one, test drive the Model Y during broad daylight. This will allow you to inspect the craftsmanship, the attention to detail or the lack of, of a Tesla vehicle to make sure that you're okay with it. Tesla's build quality is always in question and I believe Tesla to be one of the most, if not the most documented car brand in all of YouTube by users. There's plenty of material, plenty uh, readily available for you to see issues with panel gaps, paint quality, choice of materials of the interior and all that. Take the time to actually touch all the surfaces, really inspect the test vehicle. I'll be honest with you, I have never done this for any vehicle, but it's something that I advise you to do with Tesla to see if it meets your standards. Should this be flush? Maybe. So same thing here, you can feel these bumps. And to be honest with you, when I had my BMWs, Lexus, Audis, you, you feel no bumps. Everything is flush, everything is like, so well put together that it is right here. So if you have an issue with this, maybe this car is not for you. That's the way I can see it. My friend has an issue with the doors not lining up like this and he's gonna take it in for service. Actually, when is it? In two days? And I might go with him just to see what it's like to bring in a Tesla for service because remember, unlike other car brands that the dealership is right next to the service center. This one, you have to take it to, a, to another area. The tail light, it's not flush. Does this change my perception of the car? Nah, not really. Maybe I'm a customer. Let me know in the comments if you own this vehicle and you have worse than this or this is every Tesla out there. See, like right here, I shouldn't feel this. This should be at the same height as this and it's not but again I don't have an issue with it learn that I'm still really happy with this car I get a lot of comments from you asking me about the quality uh, control of this car and one of the questions that came up was regarding the frameless windows and the gasket how ugly it is or how unfinished or unrefined it looks. So for comparison, I took footage of another premium vehicle, which is the a G37, I think, from Infinity. And I it's the car I found from my friend and I asked him if I could actually take a little bit of video to see the difference between the Tesla, the way Tesla handles that, and the way another premium brand as Infinity does. 
and you can tell the difference. I think the one on the Infinity is a little bit more attention to detail, but it still looks ugly because that's one of the things with frameless doors. You don't have anything to dress it up. So when you lower the windows, the, that gasket gets exposed and uh, you be the judge. This is the window gasket exposed. And I don't find it too different to that of any other car that has frameless windows. But if any of you have one of those, uh, maybe Mercedes or the Lexus RC, what is it, RC350 with the frameless windows, Try to compare it. Yeah, it may look a little bit unrefined. Tell me if you see a horrible uh, look. I mean, I hadn't paid attention to it until one of you asked me, but questions like that, I love them because it makes for excellent material for my channel. Uh, when we had our test drive, we did it late in the afternoon, and by the time we filled out all the forms and we waited for a demo vehicle to be available, it was already too late, so it was dark, and even if I wanted to inspect the vehicle, it was too dark to do so. Number two. Test drive the Model Y during the hottest time of the day, if possible, maybe between noon and 3 p.m. Remember that one of the issues that I've always had with this car is the amount of light and heat that comes through the massive sunroof. I hadn't driven this car in this time of day, and I have forgotten how toasty it can get here. You can feel the heat coming down from the sunroof. It may be a little harder to make an appointment for the specific time of the day and day of the week when it's very sunny and hot but doing so will allow you to the opportunity to experience the sunroof in the worst possible conditions to see if you're okay with it three months into our ownership and we're still debating um we're still weighing options i'm still debating whether i should tint the sunroof or not and i've been quoted at about 500 dollars uh, for ceramic tint that is supposed to block uh, the heat from coming in it, but my wife is perfectly fine with the way it comes from the factory number three drive it on as many different types of roads as possible the model y especially the performance because of its lower suspension and the bigger wheels is known to have a bumpy ride so make sure that you not only get on the freeway but also drive it on bad roads which we don't have a shortage of them in california we didn't do much of that and uh, we drove it out of the parking lot expressly to get on the freeway because i was a little bit more concerned with wind noise and road noise but i don't think we gave ourselves the chance to drive it over the average bad roads and streets that were readily available to us number four drive a demo vehicle that is very similar to the one you plan to order if you already have a trim level and a color combination in mind make sure that you ask your sales advisor to find you a car with those options that's what we did when we contacted robert at the mission valley store that will give you a better idea of what the car will feel and look like uh, because the right quality of the Model Y is affected by the tire package that you pick. But at the same time, if you're fine with making those compromises for the sake of the look you want, then it's your world. That was our case. We test drove the Model Y performance because simply that was the car that we had in mind. Another good option is to test drive different wheels, different sets of wheels, to see if you find the 19-inch wheels more comfortable than the, than the Model Y with the 20s or the 21-inch wheels. Number five, make it a long test drive. Test drive the Model Y for as long as you can. Ideally, the longer the better. A great option is to rent a used Model Y on Turo.com and I'll leave you the link in the description box. For, and for those of you that don't know about Turo, Turo is an app where you can rent cars from actual owners. Um, you can rent a Model Y for, I saw them for about $140, $150 a day. Uh, I know that is not cheap, but trust me, it will give you a, the time to get a feel for what the vehicle really is. Another good option is to borrow one from somebody that you know that owns one. And in the process, make sure that you ask him as many questions as you can about their ownership experience. I'll be honest with you, I don't think I ever test driven a car for longer than an hour. I think that could be a huge mistake considering that you're basing your decision in such a brief experience, especially when it comes to a Tesla driving a Model Y, if particularly if you have never experienced driving an electric vehicle with how unique they handle with the regenerative braking, the lack of physical controls, and the huge touchscreen that controls a lot of the car functions. In our case, the unique experience distracted us from paying attention to other aspects of the car that are very important as well when you own a vehicle in the long run. And lastly, like I mentioned in the beginning, this car has been a blast to drive for the first three months. This is my report for the first three months. It's no complaints, no buyer's remorse, and it still brings a smile to my face when I drive it on the weekend 
whenever I get to experience how fast it is and all that, it's very cool. I haven't had any service calls or any issues with it. Uh, we have put over 3,300 miles and we have paid less than $200 in charging fees. We're still thinking about getting a home charger for the convenience and maybe tinting the sunroof and I'll let you know if I do any of those things. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't done so, please consider subscribing. And also, if you have any specific questions about our Model Y, please leave them in the comments box because those make for excellent topics for future material. And if you're planning on buying a Tesla anytime soon, make sure that you use the referral link that I included in the description box so you can win a thousand free miles of Tesla charging. Thank you, and I'll see you next time.